New tonight, a sheriff's deputy turned criminal justice teacher admits to having sex with a student. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Jerry Revish. Kristen is off tonight. Investigators say 47-year-old Michael Googe had sex with a teenage girl he was teaching at a Richland County vocational school. 10TV's Glenn McIntyre explains how authorities learned about the inappropriate contact. Today, Michael Googe admitted to a sexual relationship with a female student of his here at Pioneer Career and Technology Center. And investigators are looking into whether or not she was the only one. Michael Googe's eyes were closed during this booking photo, and investigators say they were also closed to the law when he began a relationship with a teenage student of his. The investigation began when administrators at the school started hearing rumors. That's when Shelby police got involved and questioned the student. She indicated that there had been, um, there had been a relationship, that she, uh, when she had turned 18, that relationship kind of changed from student-teacher. Um, there was some texting and some telephone calls, and she acknowledged that there had been um, some physical contact. Captain Lance Combs says that contact culminated at this motel where the two had sex. Though the victim was 18 at the time and says the sex wasn't forced on her, police say it still constitutes a crime. Under Ohio law, under sexual battery, because of his position of authority as a teacher with a teacher-student relationship, the age is immaterial. Uh, she kind of indicated that she really was unsure whether she had, she was able to give consent. She wasn't sure that she could say no. Because he has that supervisory role over here, her at the school, it, it becomes a crime. It's a third degree felony. A fact that Googe was well aware of considering his past career. He was a, a deputy with the Richland County Sheriff's Office. He left in 2010 to accept the position at uh, Pioneer. What was he teaching there? Teaching a criminal justice program. Today, Googe pleaded guilty to sexual battery. He will be sentenced on August 5th. He has been on leave from his job here since this investigation began. Tonight, we were not able to reach Googe or the superintendent of the school for comment. Investigators tell us they have indications of text and phone contact with other students here. They ask anyone with information on any other inappropriate contact to call Shelby Police. In Shelby, Glenn McIntyre, 10TV News.